God in his uh, amazingness, he brought us back to him. He brought us back to the way he wanted us originally to do things. And that played out after slavery and up to, I'm going to say, segregation. Between that time, you will see a community built on the way God wanted us to originally to build, be built on. It played out the way it was supposed to. See, we're living in a day where we think that, oh, if you have trouble, that's not godly. Right? And, and if we go by that, that idea of God, then we won't have Christ. Because Christ had all kinds of trouble that he was dealing with. Dealing with trouble doesn't mean you don't have God. I, I would say if you go through a life that's easy, that's beautiful, and, th and, and there's no, no, no pressures and all that, I think that's an ungodly life because the Bible never bore that. If, 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 the Word of God never bore, if you look at some of the old history stories, because the Bible is a, is, is a book of history. If you look at some of the stories, you will see a bunch of trouble, and then you will see the people that didn't have trouble would be the weakest people. And that whole idea that 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 we won't have trouble. No, the trouble is to build you up. The the the, the, the hard times are to build you up. Everything that the, the my pastor used to say, everything that comes from down ain't the devil, and everything that comes from up ain't God, right? So we look at that, that right after slavery, and they built. And they was in love with each other. They were flowing together. They had the church. The church brought them together because the word of God say that 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 you should know me by 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 y'all togetherness. Togetherness that they had by the very togetherness that they had, that was their strength. But it was brought together by the church. So you fast forward to now, and we look at the black community, right? So much different things. You got different religions. You got different, but no matter what you see, you see a bunch of chaos everywhere. Single parent homes, right? It ain't just single mothers no more. The fathers are stepping up and they're becoming single father homes, right? So it's the single parent home. I don't care if it's a father or a mother, it's, it's not good for there to be anything other than a mother and father in the home, right? Then you have everything that bores from that. The lack of discipline in our community because now we're seeing single parent homes kids built up and they thinking now it's better to be independent, which means to be on your own, than to be in a relationship with another person. So now we got a community that's single person minded. When it's supposed to be the church that brings togetherness. See, the, the evil that 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 the black American community is facing is the 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 the, the, the lack of power and the power that's that's only found in togetherness. That's only found when one can take down a thousand and two can take down 3,000. The chair even talking to me this morning, right? So, I, I went on the soliloquy to show you what happened, right? And, 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 and what happened is the father and the mother was taken apart. But the thing that kept them together was the church. But now the church is speaking messages of, girl, you matter. It's good to be on uh, um, by yourself. Women die loose, right? Women, you ain't need a man no more. 